Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you guys everything you need to know about embed. So let's just jump straight into it. I hope you'll enjoy. Okay, so before I begin the tutorial, let me just start off by telling you what an embed is. So an embed is basically used to display text in a more a fancy way or it just makes things look more clean. So yeah, it's widely used by men, lots of people and uh, yeah, it's quite good. So let me just show you how to make one. So let's just start off by creating a command which creates the embed and let's call it embed. And now I'm going to be creating a constant. Let me just call it embed tutorial and this is going to store the embed. So now you create an embed by typing in new discord dot message embed and there we go we just created the embed but now you have to add, add all the attributes such as title description and all that so that's also pretty easy all you have to do is set title and then put in the brackets set description set color all that stuff let me just do a bunch of them right here which i'm going to be showing you later color and then let's also set image set author and let's also do set footer and set timestamp okay so let me explain all of them so title is basically the title of the embed i think it's pretty easy to understand let me just call it title and description is the description you can also uh, give them uh, different you can format the text by uh, making them bold italic or whatever you can do that but I'm not going to do that right here. And now the color is basically the color of the bar that appears towards the left of the embed. I think you'll understand what I mean when I show you the embed. So you can either type in the num uh, the, the name of the color like green, blue for some basic colors. Or you can also type in the hex code. And then image is... Uh, it is an image that is displayed at the bottom of the embed. So you can just type in a link. Which... Let me just get a link here. Okay, let me just open this. There we go. So let me just type this in here. Yeah, so image and author is basically the author text that's at the like at the very top of the embed. And yeah. And this is special because you can also have an image right next to it. So if you just add a comment, type in a link, you'll have it towards the left. And footer is the footer at the bottom of the embed. And timestamp is also at the bottom of the embed next to the footer, but you don't have to define anything, it's automatically uh, given if you just type in set timestamp. So now I've defined all the attributes, and now it's time to send the embed. So I'll just do message or channel dot send and type in the embed tutorial, which is the variable in which all of this is stored. And now let me rerun the program and type in embed. And there we go, we have the embed right here, author next to, next to the image right here, title, description, this is the set image, footer and the timestamp. So yeah, that's basically it. You can also add other stuff like thumbnail right here. And also this is the color by the way. So you can add things like thumbnail and there's a lot of other stuff but I think I'm going to be leaving them for now. So now I'll also show you how to add fields. So fields are basically used to set information. and they're quite useful you can set a lot of fields here so i'll just show you what i mean so you just type in add fields and the fields have three values they have the title the value and the inline so the first two are strings where the third one is the is a boolean value so the title is basically the field title and the second one is the value which is below the field and the third one is the inline so on default it's false but you can set it to true which means that if you have like three uh, three or less fields they all uh, dis get displayed in the same line so now let me just copy this and paste in a bunch of fields and name them appropriately as well and now let me rerun this and type in embed once again yeah, as you can see now we have three fields here and they all aren't in the same line so for fixing that you can just type in true here add another comment type true and then all of them are going to be the same line but 
the inline value only uh, works for three the f uh, first three embeds because if you add to the fourth one then it goes to the next line so that kind of sucks but you have to deal with that and yeah as you can see all of them are in the same line so that's pretty much the basics of embeds you can also have them in object format using the curly braces and colons but i think this is pretty easy to understand in itself so i'm not going to be explaining that so yeah that's it for the video please leave a like subscribe comment share favorite that's me signing out see you on the next one peace